that's the stuff so hello and welcome back to my youtube channel you might have noticed a couple new differences one being microphone yeah actually after i took that sip i went back to see if i did like an asmr thing i love asmr little did i know that this would be the tool they use to make you know hear all those noises is anyone else into ASMR? Because I really am. But anyways, back to the topic of the video. So we're gonna go into the battle of the battle of the tinted sunscreens. Yes, that's right. Battle of the tinted sunscreens. Yes, I'm gonna compare two sunscreens together. It's gonna be the Daily Mineral Sunscreen by Derm Store. That is a fairly new release into their line, along with the COTS Tinted Flawless Complexion Sunscreen. So these sunscreens are loved. Actually, no, this one is very loved. This one is very new and I feel like a lot of people aren't talking about it. So I really want to get into it. So we're going to start off with the Daily Mineral Sunscreen. So this is a tinted sunscreen with SPF 40. It has zinc oxide 16%. So it is only mineral, it's not a mix of organic and physical, it is just purely mineral. Um, but this one's really interesting. So not only does it claim to have a sheer tint and a nice SPF, but it also claims to have vitamin E and vitamin C. So as you know, vitamin C brightens your skin, helps with blemishes, hyperpigmentation, just overall evening your skin tone. And adding, adding vitamin E into the formula also enhances the vitamin C. So I love that in a sunscreen because if you're in the skincare world, you know that in the past year, advocating for a vitamin C before your sunscreen has been up the roof, man. So let's open her up, shall we? So here it is, this is it. I have not opened it yet. Here, see, new. But I actually ordered the travel size first and that's how I experienced it. That travel size lasted me roughly three weeks, yeah. So this is a lot bigger. This is 1.75 ounces of product in here, but it's just really, really lovely. One of my favorite things about this is the texture. Oh my God, the texture. This is like butter on your skin. The moment you put it on, guys, I've never felt anything like this. If there's any other sunscreen I've enjoyed the texture from, I guess it would be the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. But this one in particular, because it's mineral and tinted, it's just, I think it's a game changer. It really, I've really never felt anything like this. I think maybe I would compare it to the matte screen by Supergoop. Um, Kotz also has one that's a little bit similar, like almost buttery. But this one knocks it out of the park. Doesn't attach to dry patches, has ceramides, and just leaves you mattified and smooth and refined. You know, this is a great one to reapply throughout the day because it is tinted, so you're not gonna have to worry about white cast. And the formula itself really just makes you look a lot nicer. And I like a sunscreen like that. That's why I like a tinted formula, especially recommending it for men um, because it's not necessarily makeup. It's a little bit more easier to apply and a little bit more easier to, you know, get away with, I guess. Having a tinted formula is really just a wonderful thing to have. Women, I know usually women are more into skincare. If you have boyfriends and they don't apply sunscreen or they have skin issues and, you know, some guys don't want to even try makeup on, get them to use a tinted formula. It'll, you know, help them. It'll like feel nice. I think we need to normalize to, it's okay to use a little something something to like refine yourself. It's 2020, man, it's been hard. Now moving on to a new sunscreen. The one we're comparing today is the COTS Flawless Complexion SPF 50. So the difference of this to that one, the biggest reason I want to compare the two is that not only are they both tinted and a high SPF, this is SPF 50, the Derm Store one is SPF 40, but the biggest difference is that this is glowy AF. This one just, you can be seen from outer space with this one. <laughs> it kind of applies similarly. It's not as 
primary or as buttery, but it's still pretty um, smooth on the skin. When it first comes out, and as you'll see in the video, it kind of looks like there's a white cast and you kind of go, uh oh, oh no, because the tint is not as dark as the Derm Store one. But after you blend it out a little bit, you pat it in a little bit, let it sink in, it actually becomes one with your skin. It starts, your skin starts showing. And it helps a little bit to kind of make your skin look a little bit smoother, look a little bit more refined. You know, just the other day, I applied this twice. I reapplied it and I was gonna go out. So before going out, I actually put on um, some face powder, uh, some, some with like green tea in it. And I put it on just to kind of tone down the shine from this. Um, don't get me wrong, eventually the shine kind of settles in. Um, not completely, so you'll be you'll be shiny, you'll be glowy from this. But I like from the get-go to apply a little bit of powder, whether it's face powder, um, like makeup powder, or if it's an SPF powder. I like to use a loose powder because with this one, putting on a um, face powder, an SPF powder, um, with that brush, the brush on shield kind of like sunscreen so you can reapply it throughout the day. It um, tends to get clogged. So I like just, you know, pressing with a um, powder brush, some powder. And I took a selfie later that day and I went, wow, I look really nice. Like redness is toned down. I look more refined. I thought, wow, what a perfect combo. Putting this on, some powder, and I'll still look glowy and dewy uh, but a little bit more refined so and it, it helps to put a powder on on top of a tinted sunscreen I feel especially nowadays when we put masks on because it will transfer to your mask But yeah, that's just a little tip there So similarly to the other sunscreen this also has vitamin C and vitamin E to help you know get rid of hyperpigmentation protect you from environmental stressors from outside and just to enhance the protection in general. Um, this is a little bit higher, SPF 50, as I said. Uh, this is a little bit higher percentage of zinc oxide. This is 20% zinc oxide. The other one is 16% zinc oxide. But this is just lovely. It is the complete opposite of it in the sense of what you're gonna end up with. You're gonna be dewy, and this one, you're gonna be more matte. So these are both lovely, lovely formulas. I feel like we need to talk about them more. But as you saw from my videos, you know, I edited them in. You can see that this refines the pores more and this one just leaves you more dewy and glowy. Um, I would suggest this one more for like people who wear makeup and want longevity. Um, and you know, if this is all you're gonna wear all day, easy to reapply. And that goes for all tinted sunscreens pretty much. But this one, I don't think I would recommend this if you want to put anything on top or maybe not even for a long day. I would recommend this if your day is going to be, you know, kind of semi short or just half the day you'll be out or you're running out um, or you're looking for glow. Um, I tried putting stuff on top of this, like maybe a little bit of concealer works. That actually does work a little bit, um, like on spots or whatever. Um, and like I said, putting powder on top of this, like it'll work, but it, it won't really tone down the shininess completely because this is glowy AF, as I said. Um, but yes, so I would, I would keep that in mind. More market, more better for um, if you're gonna put stuff on top, whatever it is. And um, this one, a little bit more on its own. But yes, so that is my kind of review of these two sunscreens. I love these sunscreens. This one I bought full size after trying the trial size from Derm Store. And this one is my second one. I finished one whole one. And um, Ulta usually has really good deals on this. They usually have buy one, get 40% off. But uh, yeah, so that's the end of my video. Let me know, have you guys tried either of these sunscreens? What do you think of tinted sunscreens? But from here, I'm, there's not a winner. Um, they're both different in their own regard. But if there is one that makes me more excited, it's this one by Derm Store. I love it. I'm actually going to apply it right now. <laughs> it's um, still early enough in the day and I still need to go outside and do some errands. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this video. Comment below. Let me know what do you think of tinted sunscreens. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me.